Hey, Farmer Judy. So I thought today we would talk about the difference between soil and dirt, because those two are not the same. All right. I know people often use those words soil and dirt interchangeably, but they are different. Yeah. And I know, uh, I know where we can find some samples of both around here. Well, let's so, do it. So, yeah. <laughs> to tell the difference between soil and dirt without getting really close, close up and personal. Let's, uh, let's shrink down to potato size. What? Yeah, let's shrink down to potato size, the size of a potato, so we can get a real good close look. What that's do you think? A, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. This in front of me here is what I call dirt. Look close. It's made up of rock particles, little pieces of rocks that have split off larger rocks through the process of erosion by wind and water, which splits the rocks. You can see some of the larger rock pieces are gravel size. Some are smaller like sand. And then smaller than that is tiny little dust particles. The important thing to remember is that this dirt has many minerals in it that are needed for plants to grow. This in front of me is a great example of soil. You can observe the differences right off the bat. It's darker and feels a little moist. There's a lot more in soil than just dirt. There are four components to soil. Farmer Brian already mentioned the first, the minerals found in the rock, clay, sand particles. The second part of soil is water. Water supports life and plants need it. Soil is moist. Look at this dirt. It's very dry. No water, no life. The third part is air. Yes, air. There has to be air in between the minerals and moisture so that there is space for things to move around and get to the plant's roots. And the fourth part is organic matter, which includes dead plant parts and dead animals that are constantly breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces that are nutrients that plants absorb up through their roots as food needed for them to grow. None of that is found here in this dirt, only in soil. Farmer Judy, who breaks down this organic matter? Well, Farmer Ryan, that would be the FBI. The FBI? Why? Has the soil done something illegal? No, Farmer Brian, not that FBI. I'm talking about fungus, bacteria, and invertebrates. These living organisms eat and process organic matter into smaller pieces. And by invertebrates, I mean creatures without a backbone, like ants, worms, insects, roly polies. Ah, I see. And I know that worms and other invertebrates create tunnels in the soil that helps water, air, and nutrients get to the plant's roots. That's right. The soil quality directly affects how well plants grow. Better soil makes stronger, healthier plants. Can we go back to full size now? I'm tired of being potato sized. Sure. The garden beds here at Lafayette are full of rich, nutrient-filled soil. Look at how healthy these plants are. My gosh, some of these leaves are as big as my head. And one of the ways that we make this soil so nutrient-filled is by adding compost to the soil. That is part of another video. We will see you again another time soon.
you know, this is a dangerous place to hang out like this. Yeah, Chef Brenda might put us in his next culinary creation. Mm. Oh, did you come? Mm, making soup. Oh. soup. Got some carrots. Let's get out of here. Okay, run. How does a potato run? Oh, roll then. Roll oh. away. I thought I had some potatoes here.